Hi everybody, today we're going to review the Shine Design tool from Growwatt. It's a PB designing tool for using Growwatt inverters. Uh, first of all, you have to enter this page, shinedesign.growwatt.com. I will put this link below this video. And the next step is to create an account. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, in case you want to use PBSYST, you can click over here. And well, um, for using PVCs, you will require an OND file. In case you need it, uh, you can contact support, but you can also click over here, choose your model, and you will obtain the data that you need for using PVCs along all the instructions. Well, the next step is to log in to your account. You have four main tabs. Homepage, My Project, and City Manage and Panel Manage. Uh, in Homepage, you can uh, visualize your last projects, uh, your PB models added, and any city that you have added. In My Project, you can visualize all your projects, delay them, or keep designing. In City Manage, we have already many cities worldwide added to our platform. But in case you are missing a city, we are going to review how to uh, add the data in order to keep using the platform. We have also a preloaded uh, PB module list, but in case you are missing any module, we can add it to this tab. Well, the first step to, in order to create a project is click New Project. And, well, I have already uh, prepared a project for this example and I have chosen uh, the city of Merida, Yucatan in Mexico. If you click optimize it angle, it will choose automatically the, the optimized angle for this latitude, for this location, but we can change it also manually. You will visualize over here the GL per year and over here the GL per month. Down below um, you can choose the PV models that you want to use. Uh, as I said we have a preloaded uh, model list. I have chosen for this example the Jinko of with 400 watts. But what happens if the Shine Design list doesn't have the model that you want? Well you only have to go to Panel Manage and as you can see I have already created some. It's pretty easy to, to do this. Uh, you have to write the manufacturer and the electrical data of these models. And where do you get these numbers, these values? Well, you have to um, get the data sheet of the model that you want. And you will find all the details over here, like the temperature coefficients and bulk values and all the values that the Shine Design platform asks after that, you only click sure and you have loaded your model. What happens if we have a city that it is not preloaded in, in Shine Design? As I told you, we have um, many countries and especially the main cities. For example, in Mexico, of course, we have Mexico City and some other important locations. But if we are missing any, you can create the city or the location that you need for Shine Design. For this example, I'm going to show you how to obtain data from a city close to Merida, which is called Valladolid. Oh well, you have to choose the region, the country, the city, which be Valladolid, the altitude and the, the coordinates will load automatically when you move this big point. For this data, sun density distribution, it means the yield per month that you have in this particular location. And many customers have asked me how to obtain this data. Well, I usually recommend to um, use two different uh, sources. Of course, it depends of your needs but for these examples i'm going to show you two platforms where you can get the data of any location in the world that you want this one is global solar atlas 
well you only have to move the pick point over here and choose the location and it will give you details of this location you have to go to uh, direct normal irradiance remember to use always uh, irradiance values not radiation because it's a bit different and well these are the values that you have to load in the shine design platform okay in case you want to use uh, another source uh, one that i like to use also is the data from nasa uh, I, I will put both links below this video but um, well you have to verify that you're using SSE renewable energy that you have chosen uh, chosen climatology and here you click pick point again and well you choose the location please don't change the date over here you can choose um, how the platform will give you the the values for this location and over here you have to go to tilted solar panels over here uh, to enter this this folder you to double click and you will need solar irradiance for equator facing tilted surface you go below submit and after a few seconds it will give you the data Oh well, we, we can see over here the values for this particular location. Uh, many times solar latitude is the one that is used. Of course you can choose any other data that you want. Um, you might be find helpful to use lower tilt. This will depends only of your design and your final decision as designer uh, and well you, you have over here these values as you can see these values are different from the data of global solar atlas because these are um, daily average yield values peak hour zone as many people call them and well, you, what you have to do in order to use these values in Shine Design is to multiply them by the number of days per each month. And well, after that, you only click Sure, and you will have your uh, city loaded. Well, let's keep going with the design. For this project, I will choose Optimized Angle. And you have to be careful of the PV model temperatures because this may affect the, um, the limits of the voltage and the number of modules that you will have for your design. You can choose if you want to design your project by um, the number of modules or the power for your design. For this design, I have chosen a Mac inverter, which is commonly used in Mexico. And I will use two inverters. Here there's a rule called Rehel, uh, which is a rule that is mainly used in Germany. Um, so m most of the countries uh, won't have this requirement. So please don't click it if you don't need it. This model has uh, three MPPTs with four strings per uh, MPPT. If I use uh, 15 modules in two MPPTs, uh, well, per string, and in my third MPPT, I use 14 modules instead. I will be using um, almost 100% of the power ratio of my inverter. There's a value also called uh, oversizing DCAC ratio. What it means basically that it is one divided by this number. This tool also allows me to calculate the power loss in my cables in the DC and AC side. And at the end, it will give me the values uh, for this design. Of course, we have two inverters, two Mac inverters. We're using 
basically the system at 100% and well this will be um, an estimated energy yield per year. Let's see now some examples of how the platform will respond to different values of a stringing. For example, I, I will use 21 panels per string and it will appear as a red mark. Please be aware of any red mark uh, if, if you modify something and also be aware of yellow marks, of course. Uh, the red means that something is maybe really bad and you have to be more careful with this. In this case, we are over the voltage limit, so we will try to get a lower value. Some regulations, like in Mexico, doesn't allow to have over 1000 volts of a rooftop. We will lower this value to 18 to comply with this rule. Now we have more power than the rated for the murder. This is called oversizing. Let's push the oversizing a bit more. And now, as you can see, we have a yellow mark, which means that we have to be careful with the oversizing. And it depends on each inverter. For example, for the Mac and Max inverters, we have a DCAC ratio of 1.5, so we are okay for this design. And finally, you can click print and it will give you a PDF like this one.